Put your arm. Just now sit normal. What's normal? <laughs> New normal. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been ear holes? <laughs> Sit the new normal. <laughs>
<laughs> my kids might be able to drive it. <laughs> Which will still be 15 years before Seth Dooley's finished. <laughs> yes. Oh. yes. Oh. All right, so let's talk about what we picked and why we picked it. Um, yeah. Wee wee. Yeah. <laughs> Little mouse. I'm gonna reiterate what I said earlier. Have you ever been here holding <laughs> new normal? <laughs> all right. So, out of all of the configurations of trucks that are out there, as far as like coming up with the ultimate tow OBS tow rig, um, we did. We decided. I decided that I was going to buy what would have been the F450 of the day, which was an F Super Duty. I was Shanghai. There was no we involved. Yeah, well, you were there, so I'm guilty by association. Um, basically, there are some, I, I would call, fundamental differences between the F Super Duty and the F350. The The biggest differences are, uh, are like, the frame rail's thicker. It's got a heavier-duty suspension. The truck's 10 lug. Um, it's, uh, it came from the factory with oversized dual-piston disc brakes all the way around. Uh, it came factory with Hydro Boost instead of a vacuum assist uh, brake system. Um, quite a few things that made it more conducive to towing with. Um, most of these trucks were bought by city municipalities or fire departments or things like that. That um, they used them for plow trucks or fire trucks or whatever. Not this truck, was, this truck was actually a fire truck. It was a what they call a light rescue. There are a couple of things that make this truck fairly unique. Um, Centurion actually converted this truck to a crew cab. In, uh, in the OBS body styles, you couldn't buy an F Super Duty in four wheel drive or in anything besides a regular cab. So for any of these municipalities or fire departments or anything to get a bigger cab or four wheel drive, they had to be upfitted by an aftermarket upfitter. So Centurion made it a crew cab and then Quigley, uh, van conversions i guess i don't know what they were called at the time but they actually converted it to four-wheel drive so it's got a a dana 70 kingpin front uh, front axle under it it's um uh got a borg warner 4407 transfer case it's been modified to work with the f super duty emergency brake on the back of it yeah. so you had to on the f super duties they had to actually move it from the back of the transmission to the back of the uh, transfer case so they actually made a custom adapter anyway they're Luckily enough, this one was in good shape, and we're not going to have to try to source one because I don't even want to think about what it would be to try to find one of those darn things. But anyway, uh, so I was able to get the crew cab that I wanted. Uh, obviously, you can't uh, you can't have that big of a truck without it being four wheel drive. I mean, you know, because who buys dealies that are four wheel drive except for or that aren't four wheel drive except for Seth? Lots of people. Lots of people. They all think like you too, right? Probably Yankees. Not. Yankees. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, so that's the platform that we're that, that I'm starting with. There are I'm, people I'm that think there's thing. no such thing as too many tacos. That's who buys them. We're still on that. Mm -hmm. I like I say, I wanted tacos and no tacos. Seth, you're gonna have to buy him tacos now. That boy. Why do I have to buy tacos? and not Taco Bell tacos? Because you're the cameraman. That, but you that know, doesn't even make sense. Have you noticed that we got Seth to talk more in this video than we ever have? This is great. Is it though? This is great, except for the fact that he's going to edit out all of that. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, that's the starting point of the truck that we that we're starting with. This is a weird project, guys. This is a weird project because I can't get it out of my head. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so anyway. Not doing an F-350, um, just because, you know, why not just go all the way and do it right? Well, and, and ultimate. I mean, yeah. His wife is loving this idea, by the way. So it's that makes it even that much better. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So specifically on this truck, I uh, I bought this thing because it's it had, it had 17,000 miles on it. And I mean, how do you find a cooler project than... Uh, a probably one in 200 ever built truck and then it's under 20,000 miles. I mean, you're talking about not only where F Super Duty's not all that common of trucks, but this truck was converted to four wheel drive. This truck was converted to crew cab. Um, it's red. How do you get better than a red OBS? I mean, that's just, does it get better than that? Well, usually, uh, yeah, not everybody's a fan of red. I like white, by the way. 
so anyways, most of the F Super Duty's trucks were just beat all the hell because they weren't owned by an individual. They were owned by... They were bought as a work truck. I mean, who bought a 450 back in the day with the rough ride and like 14 leaf springs on either side, you know, to daily drive it, so... They with just, 513s that went all of 50 miles an hour dropped out of an airplane. Mm-hmm. Loaded. Yep. It literally does 60. That's it. 60. We're definitely riveting that, too. So let's talk a little bit about what uh, what we're going to do with the truck. We're going to make this thing somewhere around five, 600 horsepower. What that should do is that should make it very, very reliable, but, uh, but have plenty of power to tow with. Uh, certainly, I could go... A lot higher horsepower, um, but uh, but then you start getting into reliability issues and things like that. Towing at altitude, you know. I, I want to be able. I want this truck to do everything. I want it to tow an RV in the mountains. I want it to pull a gooseneck uh, with a tractor on it. You know what I mean? I want it to do everything. With it doing everything, can it make tacos? It can haul tacos. Totally. Can it carry us to tacos? Not right now. It doesn't have any suspension. Or engine. Or engine. Or, <laughs> or transmission. Interior. Y'all see, I keep getting let down. It's a cab Every with a frame. single time. Not tacos. Okay. Um, so, we're going to build a trans for it. Um, and I've, I've decided that, uh, that I'm just going to, since the truck came from Ohio, any of you guys that live in the Rust Belt know what this truck looks like. Rust free. Yeah. I was, yeah. Not rust free. So, I decided to do a complete nut and bolt restoration on it. Um, stripping this thing down to nothing but a bare frame and going back up with it. And uh, since I'm doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm replacing every seal, every bearing, everything. This is thing is going to be like a brand new truck. Of course, it, it kind of deserves it being what it is. So, and then um, never drive it. Likely. I'm going to drive it a lot. Mm-hmm. Probably as much as that one Bronco gets driven all the time. Mm -hmm. Pot calling the kettle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It breaks every time I use it. Mm -hmm. So it happens when you use it five times in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've got kind of this laundry list of things that uh, that's the the preliminary list of what's going to be done to the truck. We're going, we're going to intercool it because we all know that seven threes get hot, especially at altitude. Um, I'm going with a, with a larger turbo setup, probably a T4. If, uh, if you would, that's, uh, that's typically the, the best upgrade for turbocharger setups. Um, going larger injectors, going to do a larger high pressure oil pump setup. Um, I've actually got the, the motor out and torn apart right now. Uh, and the heads are at the machine shop being uh, being redecked and having a set of comp cams, beehives put in it. Um, and uh, and it's gonna, you know, we're upgrading all the little weak points like the push rods, the valve springs and all that stuff um, to support the extra horsepower. It's, you know, we always love to just add horsepower to something and not put all the supporting mods. Um, we're gonna build the transmission on it. And then the most important thing for actually being able to uh, reasonably drive this thing is, is we're going to completely rebuild the axles. And I'm, I'm going with a set of 373 gears um, because nobody wants to drive this thing with 513s. It is terrible. Um, but, it, you know, the most iconic thing is, you know, you leaving it red like a fire truck. Gotta, and, gotta, it's just got to be red. And, and putting red. and putting the flat the, the custom-built flatbed on it so you can haul razors or whatever else you want to on the back of it. And it will look like this right here. Seth, dub in an image right now. Oh, okay. Right here. Yeah. Bing. Mm, got it. This is what it looked like. Well, this is what I hope it looks like. It's gonna be a long build. Yeah, it's gonna be a long yeah. build. Already, what, how many years into it already? Long, long build and uh, to what? At least one year less than you. Hey now, no, not since I decided to rebuild it a third time. Oh, okay. Anyway, that that kind of gives you the gist on what we're what we're doing with the truck. Um, the the next video that we're gonna be shooting on this thing is kind of showing you where we are. Uh, you're gonna to have to forgive me here for not starting from the beginning, but like I say, I'm not putting a thing back together just to uh, just to start you from the beginning. Um, 
hindsight being 2020, I guess we should have done that. But here, here we went. I feel like somebody told you to do that, but I feel like you need to shut up. <laughs> anyway, so d definitely stay tuned for more videos. This is actually going to just be a series that we're going to do on this thing. Um, and uh, this this next video that we're going to do is going to kind of give you what we're going to be doing or what, where we are now um, and some of the, the future, the immediate future plans for what we're doing with it. Um, that's it. Hopefully in the next video there will be tacos. That's the plan. Still stuck on those tacos. Still stuck on tacos. Um, so definitely, uh, if, uh, if you like our videos, definitely like and subscribe. And um, we'll see you on the next one.